Welcome to careforcustomers.com, the call center management series. And today's session is on improving your contact center reporting. So over the years, I've seen a number of different snapshot reports. And those are reports that will tell me what service level was like for a day or maybe what absenteeism was like. But nothing has been more valuable than graphical trend reports. They tell the whole story and that story gets remembered by a number of different people within the contact center. So let me give you a real cheesy example. Here's a good snapshot report. You take a look at this and you say, geez, you know, this iPhone 4 is going to follow this path and it's going to fall right into my hands. Well, from a snapshot report, looks good. But when you turn that into a trend report and you can see what happens, the story just may turn out to be different. Oh, and there is the case. Corporate IT steps in and they deny the iPhone 4 for you. So that's the version of the trend report versus the snapshot report. So let's look at, at some other contact center reports that can tell the story in a different way. Let's start with call volume day over day or day by day. Here's a contact center, happens to be in the US, and their call volume for the last three months. Now you can look at these numbers and you can say, well, I think I can pick out a couple of trends. But if I quickly change that and show you the graphical representation of that same data, you can see much, much different and much clearer trends. So a couple of anomalies in this whole pattern. You can see Memorial Day uh, and the volume after Memorial Day specifically, very high, highest in the last three months. And then you can also see the lowest volume in the last three months happened on July 4th holiday. But the more important trend is this consistent heartbeat week over week of call volume. High volume Monday, followed by a lower Tuesday, subsequently lowers Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then very low weekend volume on Saturday and Sunday. Very predictable, which helps the call center plan their activities more effectively, helps them in making sure that they have enough people for training and quality sessions and things like that. Let's move on. Take a look at staffing by half hour by day. So here's a nice, you know, simple staffing headcount uh, report or chart tells me how many folks are going to be uh, on the phones in each interval throughout the week. Again, um, very simple, easy to see, but very difficult to pick out the trends uh, over the week. Now we turn that into a graphical trend report and it looks significantly different. Now, Mondays are not the high call volume day. Tuesdays happen to be um, peaking, peaking more in the morning. And as you can see, very high ramp up of staff from 9.30 to uh, 10.30 in the morning. And then also another trend that you might want to take a look at is a lot of people go to lunch at the same time uh, within the call center at noon at this case. And then the gradual decline of the staff in the afternoon uh, into uh, 5 o'clock or 1700 hours where then it starts to level out. So interesting to see those trends within staffing. Now let's take a look at post service level, half hour by day. And most people will trend the report and give you a daily service level. In this case, we get 70, 71, 84, and 83. And you can say, okay, well, you know, if 80 is your, is your level that you're looking to achieve in service level, two days didn't make it, and two days did. So, you know, you're batting 50-50. But if you take a look at the intervals, and then you do a little bit more work on that number, and in this case, I've used some conditional formatting features that are available in spreadsheet to say, turn every time that I've got a service level below 80%, turn that into red. Now all of a sudden I got a much different picture where I can see that I've got a consistent afternoon trend of poor service level starting at about 4.30, 5 o'clock, lasting for about an hour, hour and a half, up to about 6.30, 7 o'clock. So even though my service level looked good on days three and four, I still have this consistent trend that I can now dive into and, and take some action with regards to the um, uh, resource forecasting folks or maybe even the operational folks. Now, I've turned that same report and said, okay, well, show me all of the, the positive intervals. And as you can see, there's a lot of intervals where the service level hits 100%. So I did the slide for all of you optimists out there. Let's take a look at average handle time. And I define that as talk time plus hold plus after call work. So 
Here I do AHT for the team. Very important to do a team perspective and also an individual perspective because it can tell you different, uh, different data and can show you different activities that happen within your contact center. So here's you can see here, again, hard to pick out any particular trends, but when we graphic over the period of two weeks, we can see there's a couple of anomalies here that Friday and Saturday, the after call work tends to pop up. And why that is, can't say from the report, but at least the report tells you much quicker than just the numbers that you've got a particular issue in these days. And that obviously impacts the average handle time because that goes up as a result. But it also tells you that your talk time and your hold time are very steady trends. So your issue within, within this particular area of the contact center operation is really that after call work on Fridays and Saturdays. Now let's take a look at employee average handle time. As you can see, list of 10 employees on the team. Nothing particularly striking about the numbers. They all kind of sort of blend in together. Now if we graph that same data, we can clearly see that there are some quite wide discrepancies in employee average handle time. And it's even more accentuated when we put in a couple of lines or bands. So 300 is the low band. I really don't want to see employees below that in average handle time, nor do I want to see employees above 340. You pick whatever band is comfortable for your particular situation, but you can take a look that there's two employees that fall below the lower band and two employees that are achieve higher than the highest band. So that allows me to go back to the call center operations folks and say, I think we need to spend a little bit more time with Becky and Eric and Davey and Harry and understand what are they doing differently from the rest of the team so that we can get them back within band. So the use of graphical trend reports, it's easier to see your data. It's easier to understand what's going on within the contact center. I think it improves engagement across the, the team because people see the picture and they get it a lot quicker. And more importantly, it helps you with planning. Instead of fighting the day-to-day -day fires that we, we tend to do in the contact center, by having this graphical trend report at hand, you can almost predict where your next situations are going to uh, pop up and you can deal with those effectively. So that's our session on improving your contact center reporting. Hopefully this has helped.